welcome to Nastine's story. Today we're gonna do a good old fashioned clean with me and declutter with me. I just realized I have my glasses on and I'm not gonna really take this. This is, I like, I like the unproduced, just natural stuff. I think you guys do too. Anyways, um, yeah, I just had to get caught up in some cleaning this weekend and also some big time decluttering. I So I, I did a bunch of cleaning today, so you can see that, but also, I am hoping to get to my mudroom. A lot of you have been asking about my mudroom and what's happening with it. Well, it's been stalled. <laughs> In fact, I haven't even put our winter stuff away. I haven't put our school stuff away. Like, I feel like I'm frozen in time and it has like become my storage closet. So I need to tackle that. Anyways, let's see what I can get done. But it's just, this is like a mishmash of whatever because life, right? <laughs> It was kind of a weird week and with the kids and we and we've ended the week on a good note and we're about to move into some homeschooling. Oh, which I should mention. I don't know if you guys care, but Mia was accepted to some like homeschooling program with her school. She is such an artist, but she's a little bit behind with her reading. Um, and so they chose her and it was this, it's this huge opportunity. Basically it's like five kids, a teacher, two hours a day for three weeks straight. So I'm going to set up a little area for her in my office and then I'm going to work with the other kids during that time. And it's kind of this blessing in disguise because I had not really done the distance learning very well. And I had planned to do this whole refresh in August and this makes it easier. And anyone with lots of kids, you know, if you just like take one out of the mix, it, it's so much easier and especially a twin. So that way I can give Everly my undivided attention during then and then I know Mia's covered and then the big kids and everything. So we got that going. I'll show you. I've set up this little cute little area for Mia. So this is my desk and then I've set up this area for her. I even had I found a good reason to use this pillow and she's got the laptop ready. We're going to do a calendar and then her teachers dropped off all this stuff and there's like some books here and everything. So I'm just really, really pumped that we have this opportunity to do this. tired but who cares I've also noticed that the Sun is bringing out my melasma um, I've done a whole post on that maybe I'll link that below but um I digress <laughs> I am going to clean this room out today I'm determined so it's actually been depressing me this room um, obviously I mentioned in my last video how I'm on to a next chapter in my life as a single mom and so obviously that kind of stalled the whole work that we were doing on this and so basically what's left to do is put on lights and paint it this dog shower area i hope to get done this year i'm truly just trying to be frugal um i am working and stuff but i'm i'm just trying to you know not as covid and everything hits i am just trying to be super careful so as you can see winter stuff is still here random things are here um We've got, these are the bags, like it, this room actually is super depressing for me. Maybe this is why I haven't cleaned it out yet. Cause life just like stopped. So COVID hit in March and I, the kids school was shut down. When was it like March 16th? It's now July, what is today? July 5th today that I'm filming this. And um, 
<laughs> yeah, every once in a while, and I'm sure this happens to everybody because everyone's in the same boat, every once in a while something will happen with COVID that it just like slaps you in the face and makes it really real. And I think that being in this room is, it's a lot of emotions actually between both huge things that have happened lately. Um, so I think I've been avoiding this task and I don't want to anymore. I think it'd be really good for me to just deal with it. So I'm gonna put all of the winter stuff away in terms of the spring stuff, I actually might put the spring stuff away too because we are in like a crazy heat wave and I can't see us ne needing spring jackets or anything until the fall. Um, over here, these are like, again, super depressing. These are the kids' bags from the school, which I picked up a few weeks ago. They had... They gave the parents each 15 minute time slots to go into the school with masks and only one parent, no kids, and go in and get their stuff and the whole school was just empty and these bags were sitting on all the kids' desks. It's an emotional one. I think it's like, it's more the, um, it's more the COVID stuff than the next chapter stuff. The next chapter stuff I'm fine with. It is, uh, the global pandemic stuff and I think just... Um, one of the hardest things for me with the global pandemic has been my kids. Like, it's hard for me, um, but I think if someone were to say to me what's been the hardest, it is having a situation with my kids that I can see it impacting them, and I'm limited as to how much I can help them. I'm not in control of this situation, and my twins didn't get a kindergarten graduation. Holden and Everly especially had the two best teachers. They all had great, amazing teachers, but um, they had the two best teachers they've ever had, and that was heartbreaking for that to just be yanked away from them. Everly had a group of um, friends uh, of boys who she only wants to hang out with boys, and last year in JK, she was totally rejected. And this year she had this group of friends <clears throat> And it's gone. And um, Holden was doing well. Bo was doing well. She had had some trouble. And even and Mia too. All of them. They were all having just like a really solid year. Um, and that was just like taken from them. And I know like I'm doing my best. But I do feel like um, there's just like I can't give them what they need. Um, and I can't give them, it's like their cup is empty in a certain area and it's not something I can give it. And honestly, my kids are doing really well. I would say Everly is the one kid who has struggled through this because she really thrives off of structure and routine and, um, she's a very busy kid and needs lots of stimulation and she's smart and she like craves knowledge. Um, Mia's different. She's more, she's more how I was as a kid and like happy to just play ball, Barbies or dolls on her own and kind of do quiet activities and art where Everly needs that like, that input a lot and it's a lot and I, and I look at her and I look at the meltdowns she has sometimes and I'm like, I can't give it to you. Anyways, ooh, this, I feel like this has happened more than once lately in some of my videos where it's just like, I didn't realize something was going to be like emotional. Actually, this is like my haircut video. It's obviously for me like this emotional thing. I almost feel like, I almost feel like a lot of us after once we're like out of it, parents especially, or probably like everyone. It's like, I think we're going to be left with like a PTSD kind of situation of it because I don't even realize how much it's impacting me until like... I start talking about one of these things in one of these videos and then it just like pours out. So with that being said, whew, I think the, this is going to be the game plan. I think what I need to do is instead of organizing in this room, because I think this room right now, I really believe in energies as crazy and as woo woo as that is, I really do. And I think right now this room has like a sadness in it for me and I need to clear it out. So I'm going to take everything out and I'm going to put it in my living room and sort it there. And then once I empty this out, I'm gonna start just like slowly hacking away at the rest of it and maybe like ordering the lights for it or something um, will really kind of shift my thinking with it. But I would like this room, other than the dog shower, to be super functional and just like nicer. 
um, and more complete by September because there will be like some form of school, probably part time in September. But I don't just want to give myself like a week to paint this room. It's going to take forever. Um, I want to just like be able to work away at it and not feel super stressed about that task and make it um, joy, joy filled. I think I'll feel really good about this room when it's done. done I've mostly sorted through everything else but let me walk you through where I'm storing everything actually I feel so much lighter this was like an emotional baggage room and I just really needed to deal with everything so I've kept the bare minimum in here I've got my little fanny pack no I don't know where this is from it's from winners but I don't know the brand um, I use that for like dog walking or when I'm cleaning the house I got my purse I'm just using one summer purse, I'm not switching it up. Floaties, this is all the sunscreen and like goggles and stuff for when we go swimming. A couple of my hats, Oliver's dog leashes. Then we got all the kids' cubbies and everything sorted out. So we've got Bo here, Bo, Holden, Everly, Mia. I've kept them each a hat each for them and then I've put their masks, which is so weird. I've replaced school bags with masks and I just put a post on Instagram about that so you can go check that out. But it's a weird world we live in. And that's Holden's fanny pack he uses for when he's biking around. He keeps his phone in it. And I just kept exactly what we need in here. So we've got a bucket for our sandals near the back door. And then this is all like running shoes. And I didn't keep anything extra. And then up here, put all of the dog stuff in there. That's something I've been wanting to do for a while. So we've got dog stuff there. And then dog stuff here. Here I've got my grocery bags, paper towel, and then in here we've got like all of the like dog food, a little stool, and a broom. I didn't want a lot of clutter in this room, so I'm really happy about that. So now I have the paint, or at least one can. I'll probably need more than that. I can start getting this prepped to paint. It's gonna take some wood glue and stuff, and then I can get painting. I'm very excited about that. Okay, I've accomplished a lot over the last couple days. That was, that was like, um, it, it might not have seemed like a lot, but it was like big impact stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know, is there an area in your house that you need to declutter that you think might be like holding some major emotional baggage, especially with what's going on in the world? Let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.